so very much for coming. I'm Stephanie Stillman. I'm the director of the Concord Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank a few people very quickly, and we'll get on with the show. I want to thank Cambridge Savings Bank for being our sponsor. Did I miss anybody on the board who's here? No, okay. Um, and my assistant, Jean Ellis Lavoisier, who's, who's um, taking tickets as you came in. Please, if you haven't already bought raffle tickets, please be sure to buy them at the intermission. We will draw the raffle prize numbers um, during intermissions. And, Pat, are you ready? Our MC for the evening is Pat Cooper Andrews, and let's get on with the show. <laughs> Of all the things that Stephanie, had, she's had so many things that she's been thinking about. The poor woman was mortified this afternoon when she realized that she had reversed my name. So I said, that's no problem. My husband volunteered to take the name Andrews a long time ago. So that would be fine. So what I wanted to say to all of you in the very, very beginning is that this year, the street changed a little bit. Sadly, we lost Gigi Cusin. It was a long, hard-fought battle, but Gigi lost in August. We were all extremely saddened to know that the windows would never be quite the same, the clothing would never be quite the same, but the spirit would live on because she has two fabulous daughters that are carrying on the tradition, but now, the store is named in her honor. It's called Fritz and Gigi. So all of you who grew up with Cusins, it's now Fritz and Gigi. So we're here tonight to celebrate her memory, and we're going to start the show with some of the people she loved best. Aside from her two daughters and her husband, and of course Fritz, who she kept straight all these years, and the bookkeeping and the selling and, and the merchandising and and all of the volunteer hours at Emerson Hospital, and she was a Eucharistic minister, she had time to celebrate these little ones. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the spirit of Cusins in the form of Fritz and Gigi. This is Grace and Patrick. Get your awes ready, everybody. Here they are. Grace is wearing pink corduroy. How could any child in Concord be without the pink and green? It's the preppy statement, and it's one that is made so beautifully on Grace. Now, Patrick, on the other hand, is looking quite dapper in his vest and his button-down shirt. He is the perfect boy. Thank you. All right, get your awes ready again. This one is gonna take away all of the attention that you wanna spend talking to your friends. Here she comes. We have two absolutely adorable children. This is Annabelle and Sophia. Don't be afraid, girls. You're doing a great job. Everybody, look at them. Oh, my goodness. 
Sophia is in preschool at Neshoba Brooks. And Annabelle is one. Can you believe she's making her runway debut? Take a bow, girls. That's Fritz and Gigi. That's what it's all about. Cute children wearing absolutely adorable clothes. Embroidery, handmade, and if you want a special gift, go to Fritz and Gigi. Whenever I was having babies, and I got to my shower, and I opened up a box that said, at that time, Cusins, it was just going to be a hit. No matter what was inside that box, you can always please a new mom. This is Emily and Connor. I don't know if any of the, anybody here has ever bought the line Due Per Due, but now Due Per Due is making clothing for children. And aren't they doing a great job? Connor is three years old and he goes to the Montessori school. And again, he's making a great model. He's wearing some wonderful applique jeans a terrific cardigan of bold stripes. Emily is in the fourth grade at Alcott School, right? All right, and Emily's wearing embroidered pants. Definitely a look from many of our past. We all wore corduroys, sometimes white whale, with embroidery. And this time, she's got it back to a zip vest, which is perfect for this fall when nobody knows what to wear. And you don't have to feel guilty if you sent your child to school wearing this and it gets too hot. So thank you very much, Emily and Connor. I want to make sure that everybody understands that Fred's and Gigi is located on Main Street in Concord, Massachusetts. If you haven't been there, you definitely need to go. The selection is fabulous. They do the cutest things. And I think a lot of you would recognize it from either of the days when you were buying for your children or or now buying for your grandchildren. There are things like Florence Eisman, which is definitely one that I know, Little Me, um, Due Per Due, which I had mentioned before, and all kinds of other things. We have, oh, oh, you don't see what I see. This is Grace and Annabelle. They're back. See if the girls can do a little Pair modeling. What grandmother wouldn't want to buy these dresses for their grandchildren for the holidays? How cute is that? Sister dresses. If you're a little bit younger, you wear on fire. If you're a little older, you get a little waist detail. Now that deserves some big oohs and ahs. The dresses are silk and velvet. And they have shoes by Jumping Jacks. So don't miss their shoes. Okay, girls, can you come back down the runway? You were so beautiful. I knew you'd all have to say, aw, sometime. I don't know why we didn't have mom on the runway. Isn't she stunning? <laughs> Next we have Patrick and Connor. Just for a little bit more holiday. Look at these boys. Isn't that wonderful? It seems as though clothing for children has always gone through trends where the girls are cuter than the boys. But this year, Fritz and Gigi has cute for all children. Boys and girls alike, they're just adorable. These are navy corduroys from a company called Elond. White turtlenecks from La Top. Half zip sweaters. Oh, one more time, guys. We gotta see you again. You look so wonderful. One more time, they won't bite you. Connor's wearing plaid pull-on pants. Turtleneck from Imp. And a cotton sweater vest from Elond. I think those outfits look worthy of a family portrait. And next we have Emily. 
Emily's wearing another beautiful headband, but this time she's pretty in pink. Emily's dress is just perfect for that wonderful holiday gathering. How professional are you? Good for you. Even the adult ladies can't do that. Honey, one more time. You gotta go and show them your style one more time. Now, who said horizontal stripes make you heavy looking? I think they're figure flattering. I, I don't know. But how pretty. Imagine cardigan keeps her safe and sound from the cold. Black patent leather shoes. How could anything be prettier than that? Thank you, honey. Next, we have Sophia. Sophia, you want to come out one more time? Okay, we wanted to see you another time. Here she is. You have to make sure that you get a view of these tights. Sophia is wearing the most adorable outfit. Sweater, dress, it's, it's velvet and satin and a cotton skirt, all in festive colors. It's a pin tuck blouse, everybody see the blouse? And a wonderful cardigan. The colors are just so rich and really enhance those rosy cheeks. Have you noticed the cheeks on this child? All right, she's going to give us a spin without the jacket, too. Sophia, are you going to take your jacket off? Yay! Good job! Okay! Oh, professional model in the making. Oh, she is a runway walker. I warned all the girls in the back, don't try. And one spin to go. All right! A future model and a wonderful present model. How cute! I don't know about you, but I'm already disappointed that we're not going to see the children anymore. Aren't they really special? I want to take special notice, too. I didn't combine them with the adults. They would have stolen the show. We have to keep you here just a little bit longer and give the adults a chance but it ain't getting any better than this, folks. Fritz and Gigi really does put on a great show. I really appreciate all of your attention for the Fritz and Gigi gang. Weren't they wonderful? Give them a big round of applause so that they can hear you in the back. We are going to introduce everybody in a more unique way. First, you see Elena sneaking through the audience. Elena was so determined to enjoy this evening with her group. She was supposed to be in the back for the parade of the shopping bags, but I think we'll just send her out on the runway and embarrass her as she comes. All the way, Elena. Come on. Here comes Elena. Tonight she's carrying a footstock bag. Two weeks ago she was carrying all those little red bags that you have at your table. She and her group glued the white tuxedo fronts and the buttons onto all of your bags. And Elena has provided shoes for many of the models tonight. What show would be complete without Footstock and Elena being part of it? Because I'll tell you, she really put her heart and soul into this. And to all of the girls at the table also, you were fabulous to work with all week, two weeks, two months long. One more round for Elena. All right, take special note of all of the shoes this evening. And without further ado, it's time for the other ladies. We're going to start our evening with a parade. Picture yourself a conquered Main Street, and all of the women that you pass are interesting because they're carrying different bags. The bags intrigue you. The outfits that they're wearing must come from the different stores. We've got Gatehouse, Nicole Marie, Irresistibles. Popery Designs. Zrinka. Don Castor and Elena. 
French lessons. Perceptions. Melon. Maggie Taylor. Andrews and Andrews. And again, we've got Footstock. Well, that might be a little bit fast for you to take any note of any of the fashions, but let's review. Tonight, Susan Barber is joining us. Absolutely, we invite you to come to the stage. Susan is a busy lady. She's a mother, a grandmother, a former teacher, and now an employee and featured model from the Gatehouse. One of the things that I've always noticed about Gatehouse is their jackets are just exceptional and definitely worth looking at. They are in West Concord. Next we have Ashley. Ashley is from the Gatehouse also. She comes via Middlesex Bank. If anybody recognizes Ashley, that's why. Tonight she's gone beyond Banker's Gray and wears a mocha brown with black wrap dress designed by the folks at Merrimacko. I don't know, anybody remember Merrimacko? I always thought they did placemats, but now Gatehouse is here to tell you they do lots of clothing as well. Here comes Nicole Marie. This is Danielle. She's starting the evening for Nicole Marie wearing J Brand's dark wash straight leg jeans and Toka's upscale Dupioni top. Walter Baker's trench adds an autumn feel and the outfit wouldn't be complete without the Chloe saddlebag that she doesn't happen to be carrying. <laughs> Get ready folks, there's going to be a lot of jokes like that. <laughs> Angela, you're, you're absolutely okay. Angela is transitioning her way from summer's warm weather to fall. She's wearing just a wonderful embroidered skirt and brown top. These weights are perfect for the evenings where you don't know what to do in early September and October. Perfect for absolutely anything, daytime luncheons and definitely a daytime wedding. I think she looks terrific, and the details on this skirt are just magnificent. The vertical embroidery is just so flattering. Brenda Conroy. Middlesex Bank. Again, Middlesex. They produce great looking models there. This time, Brenda is modeling for Irresistibles. What a spectacular color, purple and black. Black detailed pants, wonderful accessories, and a great look. Notice the gauchos. Gauchos are becoming the, the basic. They definitely update any outfit. She's got some beautiful black boots on. Definitely worth looking at. Tanya comes to us this evening also for Irresistibles, but this time it's not Middlesex Bank, it's TD Bank North. Tanya is wearing a Donegal Tweed outfit. Both the jacket and the ankle pant are in Celadon Green. The trench style wrap enhances a beautiful waistband. And actually, Tanya, would you give us one more look at those shoes? She's got the greatest looking point to toe ankle zip boots. Are they ankle? Up, oh, a little bit calf length. And they're also from Footstock. So definitely a gorgeous outfit. And an example of the stores in Concord working together. We very often will tell you that the best place to go for a fun boot or shoe is either at Footstock or someplace else. And we're not going to tell you where to find them. Next we have Potpourri Designs. This is Beatrice. This is the first of Beatrice's outfits. Irish knit sweater updated. It's got the hip action, 
It's definitely the beautiful new look of the three-quarter length sleeve. Not too hot, but definitely playful and appropriate for any time of day, especially when you're bringing your kids to um, school. She's also wearing some footstock boots. Up, 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 back up there. She's wearing some beautiful footstock boots. And I was saying to her today, oh, those are mine in black. Okay, thank you. This is Nicole. Nicole comes from Potpourri Designs. And Nicole's the kind of girl that you love to hate. Look at her, tall, slim, gorgeous, and able to belt a sweater. What's up with belting sweaters? You have to have one heck of a figure to be able to pull that off, but she does. This is a gorgeous cashmere that they paired over just a slim white t-shirt, giving a little bit of comfort for anybody who is a little bit on the itchy side, but cashmere is not really itchy. It's our friend. Okay. We've got an out of order shed. This is melon. Julie is wearing a melon, actually a tunic from melon. It's definitely one of the new looks that are out this season. The longer dress look paired back to jeans. I don't know if any of you have dared try it yet, but doesn't she look great? It's one of those looks that is definitely fun and easy. And on a figure like that, how could she go wrong? And this is Gabby. Gabby is wearing a new pencil shaped skirt. It has pleating in the bottom and she's got some great looking shoes. Little, little stiletto here. How dare she wear that on the runway? My gosh, she's got courage. A wonderful blouse. And I want you to notice the blouse actually dips down in the middle, which ladies, if you have any hip issues, the dipping down, it helps. Obviously she doesn't have the same issues that a few of us do, but doesn't she look great? We fed Zrinka, here she is. We were just a little out of order. This is Zrinka, she's modeling gorgeous coloration in a alpaca sweater. All of the alpaca sweaters are hand knit, beautifully designed by Zrinka herself. Here is the designer. Designer, model, store owner, she does it all. She's got five stores to take care of and design the collections all at the same time. Now that's a talented lady. Next, we have Doris. Doris is also wearing Zrinka. She's wearing an elegant baby alpaca, sage green with matching A-line skirt. The buttons are handmade silver and the the shawl is a matching baby lace alpaca with a lettuce edge. Say that time times fast. She's absolutely spectacular. You're Katie, right? Okay, we're back. Katie is back. Katie Barbarizzi? All right. She is a friend of our Don Caster representative who I knew in high school, how's that? And Betty Ann Killian, I swore I would get her new last name right. How new is that? She's probably been married 20 years. She's always gonna be Mullins to me. Anyway, Katie is wearing an absolutely spectacular blouse. It's got definitely the new colors of the season, chocolate brown, peacock, and the ruffled front. Vintage look, but updated. Gorgeous brown slacks. All of these pieces, including the turquoise suede jacket, come in different colors and all of the sizes. These are done through trunk showings in Betty Ann's house. Next is Bet Betsy Odgers. All right, hey, I'm doing okay on the name so far. Betsy is also a wonderful client and consultant for Doncaster. She's wearing a wonderful wrap, trimmed in fur, great fringe, and a sweater that she also has belted. It takes my breath away that the girls are belting their, their sweaters and some great stretch jeans. Stretch jeans are our friends also. They can make anybody feel good. <laughs> Alan is wearing a cognac suede coat by theory. Alan comes to us from French lessons and I think she's here to teach us a few of those. 
This coat is absolutely spectacular. I want you to take special notice of the vertical lines to it. Suede can be luxurious and supple and not bulky. The vertical lines tell the story. Her figure tells another story. Notice the embellishment on the pockets. That definitely keeps you looking where you shouldn't be. Mary also is here to give us a little French lesson. This time, the French lesson is in style. Notice she's wearing this year's must-have. It's black leggings with a tunic dress. She, she wears it beautifully. Gray, paired back to black, the new black, black leggings. Definitely something everybody needs to have. It's belted beautifully. The, the round neck is so flattering on some women, and she just wears it beautifully. It's ruched throughout the neck. And then if you notice, the hemline of the dress actually is a bubble hemline. And she's saying to me, I'm not going back up there. Look at the guts. She's back up to show you the hemline on that dress. Is that cute? That's really different. Okay, next is Pat. Pat is giving me the shoe cue. She's also wearing some shoes from Footstock. Little ballerina slippers are definitely the look this season. If you've noticed in the celebrity magazines, they're all wearing them, very often paired back to leggings. Pat is wearing an outfit from Perceptions. It's a little black dress. How cute, how wonderful, and how versatile can a little black dress be? Oh, wait a minute, Pat. you got to show us that bag. The bag is what we're calling a gentle duplication of a bag line that already existed in this world, made out of stop signs and street signs. Definitely fun and makes a black dress sing and be a little bit different. Again, we have perceptions. This is Sandra. Sandra is wearing Eileen Fisher. Everybody loves Eileen Fisher. Have you ever noticed, oh, I have an Eileen Fisher sweater. Oh, I have an Eileen Fisher pant. Oh, I have an Eileen Fisher skirt. Well, Eileen Fisher can be bought at Perceptions. And look at, why wouldn't you be excited by Eileen Fisher? The colors are incredible. The green is perfect on Saturday. Is that an Irish girl or is that an Irish girl? How beautiful, pairing and match of girl and color. Next is Melon. Did I get you right this time? Okay, we've got Maggie Taylor again. Okay. This is Joy. All right. Poor Joy, she's been waiting there. She was ready all this time, and I keep on having other people bump in. Joy is wearing... Uh, first of all, i got to tell you, Joy, are you really a mother of two? That makes her twice as stylish as the rest of us. She's wearing an absolutely adorable pinstripe suit trimmed in black velvet. The A-line skirt is just swingy. It's actually a full skirt. If you could do one more twirl like that, everybody would see just how beautiful. And she has the legs to do it. How pretty. Thank you so much, Joy. You're gorgeous. All right, next is Lucy. Lucy's also modeling from Maggie Taylor. This time, Lucy is in Immortality Jeans. There are all kinds of brands out there, and everybody has a favorite brand that fits their body beautifully. Obviously, Lucy is wearing the brand that fits her beautifully. Immortality. The Choi, I hope I'm saying that correctly, is a 100% cashmere jacket. The black, it's very unique. If you see on the bottom, it also is rouged. It's that little bu bubble bottom. Don't be sure whether you can wear this. This is definitely one for the figure. Okay, I'm familiar with this model, Beth Holmes. Beth is wearing Andrews and Andrews. This I can commentate on and tell you very clearly, this is Olsen of Europe. Not Sigrid Olsen, not Olsen, your next door neighbor, this is Olsen Europe. It is unique and it's beautiful. It is from Germany. This time she is wearing a vintage suede jacket paired back to a military-inspired button blouse. Of course, you don't want to be modeling this blouse. It, the buttons are actually functioning. She is wearing a stretch jean, also with embellishment from Olsen, and cowboy boots from Footstock. When we were fitting Beth for this outfit, she was a perfect lady until she put these boots on. And then she was scuffing around, and she had all kinds of attitude. Who hurt? Who watched Dancing with the Stars last night? Sarah put the cowboy boots on, and then she was all into her own and dancing beautifully? That was Beth. She does a runway the best in cowboy boots. 
please welcome Tara Cousins, also modeling Andrews and Andrews. Tara is wearing slim-fitting chocolate brown trousers paired back to a Joseph Ripkoff stretch camisole that she swears that if I tell her to take the jacket off, she'll kill me. It fits her beautifully. I don't know why we can't show off all of it, but be that as it may, this is a beautiful eyelash trimmed jacket from Joseph Ribkoff. The eyelash is chocolate and gold. The belt is a wonderful Israeli import, jeweled and stunning. Paired back to a beautiful waistline, this is really a terrific look. And Tara, how lucky am I that I got to fit this girl? Thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh. And footstock shoes. And one of the things that Tara said when she put these shoes on was, how much, how much? They really are terrific. They go with everything this season. Nothing like a metallic to go with all your clothing. Thanks, Tara. All right, we're back to Gig House. I have to tell you a little secret about this particular jacket line. My mother, sister, and I were strolling down the the corridors of a fashion show in New York, and we saw this terrific jacket line, and we said, we've got to carry that in the store. Well, it was too late. Gatehouse carries it, and we never want to tread on toes. So I'm here to tell you, this is one of the most spectacular jacket lines, and I covet it. How gorgeous, red and black, and paired in such a dramatic way. Ashley Foley. Ashley's here from the gatehouse also, wearing basic black, a beautiful Chanel-inspired cardigan jacket. Cropped short, so not for the faint of heart, but definitely fun for somebody young and trim like Ashley. She really is beautiful in that, and it's from Barbara Wells. The gaucho pants give the suit the spice of a new look for fall, and the red leather bag by Gala, a little bit of fire. Oh, Danielle's carrying her bag now. I want you to all to notice, there it is. It was missing, it has now been found. Is this retro or is this retro? I think she needs to do a little go-go dance for us on the runway in this one. And I think Danielle is definitely the girl to do it. This is Nicole Marie, the model is Nicole, oh, the model is Danielle. She will be known from now on as Nicole because she is the manager, assistant manager, Soon to be manager with a walk like that, um, Nicole Marie. She is definitely a seasoned fashion consultant, so any wonderful fashion questions you may have, point them her way. Angel is ready for anything. Here she is. She is wearing the bag at the time when she's supposed to wear it like a good girl. Notice Angel's pants are gathered at the bottom. They have a little bit of a, a funk going to them. They really are fun. They show off any of those fashion shoes that you may own that you paid a lot of money for and you need everybody to see them. These pants are for you. This is a wonderful French Connection top, button down, crisp white shirt, and now some beautiful trousers. Originally a skirt, but fortunately for them, the skirt was sold this morning and so changes happen. Thank you very much. Back to Brenda Conroy. Brenda's here for Irresistibles. One more time before you all get to break. Brenda's all cuddled up in Nick and Zoe's fur-trimmed leather jacket and Ralph Lauren's black knit gloves, reminding us that cold nights are ahead. I'm sorry to say, folks, but it will happen. And can you imagine, isn't this gorgeous? The simplest black outfit enhanced by a jacket like this Gorgeous. You can go any place. I'm sure that if she were to take off that jacket right now, load it up with jewels, she could be out for an evening. <laughs> Tanya echoes Brenda's sentiments about the winter is coming. And oh my gosh, she's wearing snow. Let it snow, let it snow. A little bit of snowflakes trim on her sweater. But doesn't she look cute? Ready for skating or anything that comes her way, Tanya is definitely adorable in a half-zip sweater. It's a beautiful color. It's almost a cross between a hyacinth and a, and a baby blue. And if you have some baby blues, definitely we'll play those up. She also is wearing a great pair of Ugg boots from, you guessed it, Footstock. 
Next from Potpourri, this is Beatrice. Yes, I was right. Beatrice is back showing a wonderful go to lunch or work outfit created by pairing a potpourri of designs. Did you like that? A potpourri of designs? She's modeling for potpourri. Okay, anybody get that? Okay, so the, the designs are from Survival, Autograph, Motif 56, and Borsetta. I believe the bag is Borsetta and a stretch belt. There are a lot of reasons to belt things, and the best reason of all is you have a great waistline. The long peasant style skirt is definitely adorable and can go back to boots if you want to play it a little funky. This is Nicole. Now Nicole looks like Paris, I think. Ruffle front blouse, pencil skirt, a little kicking on the bottom, slim side ruffle detail to continue the ruffles starting from her neck all the way down to her skirt. The blouse is adorable, it's crisp, it's fun, and it definitely is this season's new look, paired back to a man-tailored vest, and of course, the prerequisite, big bag. Please welcome Doris one more time before we say goodbye for an intermission. We will be back. Doris is wearing another one of Zrinka's beautiful fashions. This time it's a cardigan, enhanced with fall colors. Really terrific for the season. It could be worn with jeans, corduroys, your favorite pants, anything. This time it's paired back to an A-line skirt, playing up the sage in the sweater. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And again, in baby alpaca. Next comes the designer herself. This is truly a gorgeous color, thistle blue. This set is again made of baby alpaca. Zurika is known for baby alpaca. I don't know if any of you understand just how much she works in this particular fiber. It is a beautiful, supple, not itchy fiber. There is a misconception about that. When you're working with fine wools the way Zurika is, it can be a very comfortable look. And this way, she's ready for anything. Katie is back. Katie is wearing an Armani-inspired herringbone suit from Doncaster. Corporate, classy, stylish, New York. She's ready to close any deal, anywhere, anytime. Absolutely terrific. And if you were to pair that back to any other thing, it would go to the most casual of events also. Ladies, remember, your suits can work a lot harder than you've been making them work. Don't let them off easily. Pair them back to jeans. It's the look. Betsy is back. Oh my gosh, look at her, a vision in color that is bright and definitely inspired for fall. Look at her pants. A beautiful patterning of orange and green paired back to the spectacular orange jacket. It was designed to flatter. If you look at this jacket, the hemline of the jacket is actually rounded. Again, pointing out that a hemline like that can slim a pair of hips. Very, very nice. And this is Ellen. Ellen is here from French Lessons. This is a classic. This is the return. You, you've heard the expression, what goes around comes around. Well, this is a Diane von Furstenberg signature suede wrap dress. I'm sorry, I can't invite you all up to feel this dress. It is absolutely a spectacular hand. It is a very soft suede. And it is gorgeous. The wrap dress is back, and Ellen wears it well. Okay, this is Mary. Mary's wearing a silk top and skirt by designer Tracy Reese in surf blue. I was reading the cards and I saw surf. They just wrote surf. Well, all you have to do is see this dress and you knew it was surf blue. The color of waves come out beautifully in this very fluid two-piece dress. This dress is fabulous and definitely something that I can see switching up and having a lot of fun with. And 
absolutely going off for an evening on the town. This is Mellon. Actually, this is Julie from Mellon. Julie is a freshman at Concord Carlisle. Can you imagine this poised young woman is a freshman at Concord Carlisle? She looks so great. I think she's headed for a career in uh, maybe modeling. Julie is pairing back what is one of the new looks. Again, I keep on talking about the new looks this fall. New looks this fall, no more bellies, ladies. I'm tired of bellies, are you tired of bellies? Okay, now we're talking tunic tops. And the way they're getting a little waistline look is by tying, belting, wearing shorter things over longer things. No more bellies, so if you have a belly piercing, take it out. It's done. And this is Gabby. Gabby is Julie's sister. And as a senior at Concord Carlisle High School, I bet that Julie would be very happy to hear her being called her sister. She's following in her footsteps, and Gabby is definitely setting the pace for a future. Gabby is wearing a pair of black cut. No, 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 go back, go back, 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 back. I talk too long about you. This is a black wash pair of jeans. Black jeans are terrific. They are paired back to everything. You never have to worry about matching anything if you're wearing black. So here we go. Black jeans, black sweater, white shirt. Really a great look. And Gabby is modeling it from Melon. And I thank you very, very much. Aren't those cute sleeves? This is Joy McNulty. Joy is from Maggie Taylor. She is a customer of Maggie Taylor because she knows that she can always find something to wear day or night. And I think she's found something really special. It is a bubble hem. Remember a few years ago the, the balloon or the bubble dress was in? Well, this is a modified version. You don't look quite like a um, ginger jar vase or something in these. It's a little softer, and the detailing of this flower keeps it crisp on the bottom as well. Definitely a dress to dance in, and I'm sure she's about to dance the night away, even though she is a mom. And again, from Maggie Taylor, this is Lucy Boyton. Lucy, am I saying your last name right? Okay, because we have a family in town called the Boyntons, I'm sure to change your name to Boynton, not Boynton. Boynton, okay. So Lucy is easily tempted. She's easily tempted by short walks from Concord Academy to Maggie Taylor. It's way too close and way too cute a store to go to for her. I'm sure that there are lots of people that are blocking the door saying, no, no, you can't go again. But when you look like she does in Maggie Taylor clothing, you gotta go. Black pencil skirt, white t-shirt, wonderful cascade cardigan. You'll notice there's a lot of black and white this season because it's always crisp. They talked about black being out. Well, black is the new black. There is no other black. It's always black, always will be. Black, black, all time, all black. And here is Beth. Beth is back in black. Beth is definitely ready to dance the night away in this one. And I could be really cruel and tell her to do the Charleston, but we haven't rehearsed that, have we, Beth? No, but this is a car wash bottom dress with ruching all the way through. The beauty of this dress, ladies, is that it has a lingerie strap. It's adjustable to your shoulder need. So there's no falling straps in this one. It's definitely comfortable, and she would be able to pack this and go. I do want to make note of the, the pocketbook. The pocketbook is absolutely held on by the bracelet. So if you need to have a drink in your hand, which Beth will, that is the bag to use. Thanks, Beth. And next is Tara Cousins. Tara is wearing the dress ready to shimmy all night long. Beads, bangles, baubles, and lots of fun. If you notice, the pants have a lace and bead detail at the bottom. 
Tara has legs that go on forever, and, and it is just so great to see her in a pant outfit, because pants are going to special occasions these days. Cocktails, anywhere. And I also want to mention that there is a beautiful bag in her hands as well, beaded to match, and very special. Carlo Fulci bag. Wonderful. Thank you very much. That was from Andrews and Andrews. I heard somebody say, where was that from? Are you coming over on Saturday to get that? I do want to remind you all that on Saturday we are having an agricultural day in downtown Concord, which does mean that from Monument Square to Walden Street, the street will be closed down for a period of time. But you can still get to all of the shops in downtown Concord by using alternate routes, so please don't stay away. Next we have perceptions. And this is Pat. I remember Pat because she has my name. And she's also one of the nicest people. She really is such a cute person. Pat is wearing a Chris Triolis reversible green and purple cape. Can, I don't think anybody would really understand that that is actually purple. It is truly gorgeous. Look at the ways you can just fling it. If you're a little bit shawl phobic, this one's for you. It has armholes. Reverse it, and nobody will know that you're out all night. <laughs> Next comes Sandra. Oh my gosh, Sandra. Gorgeous. Herringbone. Long cardigan. Great shawl frontage on this jacket. Really very spectacular. And if you look at the knit, there are sister knits. The sister knits are on the skirt and on the sleeve cuffs. Gray and black. Do notice that the skirt Sandra, hold your sleeve to your skirt. They are coordinating. Perceptions has done the outfit for you. And look at the, the neck. Is that cute? You can wear it. You get caught in a little windstorm, you'll be toasty. Thank you so much, Sandra. You look wonderful. I do want to extend some special thanks. Wishes for girls for doing the hair and makeup for, I believe it was Melon and some other stores. There's also John Porter who came out all the way from Boston. Actually, he's the one who did Melon's hairstyles. So John Porter from Boston did all of the hairstyles on Melon. Wishes for Girls did Maggie Taylor. Correct me if I'm wrong. I also want to thank Stephanie for putting together such a wonderful show. It was a lot of fun, and I hope that you've all enjoyed it. I want to thank the Footstock crew for all the gluing, sticking, and carrying that came with the bags, and also for getting some pretty wonderful gifts for us all for this evening. And also, I'd like to extend a special thank you to all of the people at Andrews and & Andrews who stuck with me doing bow ties on all of the bag stuffing and all of the above. And not the least of which is my sister Carolee who is in the back trying to keep all the numbers and models straight and on the runway on time for all of you. We have 22 models for you this evening. So you can imagine what kind of a feat that is. And then also I'd like to thank my customary commentating partner Mary Andrews who instead of being up here and sharing the spotlight with me this evening was sitting in the audience and enjoying for the first time. So thank you to all of you and without further ado I'd like to bring out for their last round the gatehouse. Susan Barber makes her final appearance in this spectacular handmade finish and I don't mean it's finished, I mean it is from Finland. Patchwork blazer from Anneke Karvinen. I am no linguistic expert, but I do want to tell you this is a beautiful outfit from Gatehouse. And I think it's definitely worthy of anything that you can put under it. It can take on any color. Next we have Ashley Foley. Ashley is wearing a wonderful red velvet ensemble. These are separates that have been put together and what 
holiday party would not be enhanced by having a woman wearing this outfit. You know, women, when they wear red, they command a lot of attention, and definitely, Ashley commands a lot of attention in this one. Just imagine the fun the zippers would provide for an evening. <laughs> Next up, making their final appearance, this is Danielle, and Danielle is from Nicole Marie. I want to tell you, boho is back. Boho meaning eclectic, funky, soho, inspired by the hippie generation, color, fabric, stitching, a peasant line to the skirt, a walk that can't be beat, fun, fluid, and definitely ready for an evening. This outfit does it all, and in some of the most wonderful colors, beautiful muted blue and lavender. Angel. Angel is wearing, what else could this be called? but an Audrey dress. This is a wonderful outfit that looks like it could go to breakfast at Tiffany's. It could go any place. And tonight, I think it went beautifully down this runway. It's velvet trimmed, it's fluid and fun, and it is tied at the waist like a little package, enhancing the most beautiful hourglass figure Definitely a dress for a woman. Brenda's back to tempt us one more time with this irresistible, get it, outfit. Buy Irresistibles and from Sarah Campbell. A matching coat and dress. Now this is definitely a Jackie O inspired dress. If we're naming a little bit of name dropping, that's what I see. I see Jackie O. Embroidered, embellished, trimmed, these chocolate pieces will be sure to satisfy anyone on any occasion. Extremely elegant. How could you miss with that kind of class and elegance? Definitely town and country chic. Worn beautifully by Brenda. Thank you very much, Brenda. Tanya is equally as irresistible with a kaleidoscope of colors on this jacket. She just brings the fun back to jacket dressing. Gauchos make it whimsical. The new look, again, I will mention the gauchos, taking it from beyond the ordinary suiting look to definitely the look for boots. Boots are very big this season and they look great paired back to gauchos. Kaleidoscope of color paired back to black, definitely a vision. Beatrice is out for the evening in a three dots deep v-neck dress with ruched sleeves. But first, she is wearing a micro pack trench coat. Has anybody ever had a micro pack coat? These go back into bags and travel. They are definitely a travel coat. They can go from evening to daytime and back again. They are water repellent, not resistant. Or did I get that mixed up? They're not going to keep you totally dry, but they're going to keep you looking good. How's that? Tied trench coat over it. Again, the Diane von Furstenberg inspired dress, this time by three dots, not Diane herself, and paired back to a gold chain. One of this year's big accessory looks is big gold chains. Nicole wears the last outfit presented by Potpourri. Again, notice the gold chains, this time at her waist, enhancing the sweater that has been put together with a silk skirt. The silk skirt is by Cartese, it's multi-layers. And I wanna tell you that this banding on the skirt is actually stitched. You may have seen this by Calvin Klein or by other designers at any time, where they have not stitched the edges and they tend to fray. This one's stitched. There will be no fraying. This dress is gonna look good year after year after year. I should say skirt, back to a cardigan. Really a wonderful look and definitely this season. Here's Doris, one more time for Zrinka. She's wearing a supple alpaca baby knit in the most wonderful muted hazy purple. This time, they're calling it steel. The steel is enhanced back with a ruffle edge, the pearl trim buttons, 
just play with the cold color of the steel and are very pretty marching down the front and paired back to beautiful pearls. This is a town and country look. And I want you all to take note, here comes Rinka. What a talented lady. Zrinka is modeling her own creation. Ruffles playing on both the neckline, marching down the front, and greeting us back on the hemline. All incorporated into this beautiful black two-piece ensemble. The beauty of separates is that you can make them work for your body. You don't have to be the exact size on the top and bottom, but when you put them together like this, it is absolutely a sophisticated look. Here's Katie. Doncaster does evenings. I said black is the new black. Well, black is back. Here it is, done beautifully in a jersey knit dress. V front, V back. Katie, show us the back. There you go. Deep V back, not too deep. Definitely a bra-friendly dress. Men, block your ears. You didn't hear me say bra-friendly. Draped and just lightly touching the curves of her body, making it just chic and elegant. <laughs> Betsy glitters in gold. I love this because it is definitely a retro-inspired outfit. If you notice, ladies, the capris have a slit in the back, making them more comfortable. When you sit down in a pair of capris, it's not always a comfortable thing. But these having the slit in the back make them sit easily, not crushing the gold. The gold is just invaluable. You know, the value of gold is rising all the time. And the beauty of this outfit is just incredible. Definitely something worth owning. And you can own it too if you go to a Doncaster party. Here we are in French lessons. Alan conjures up images of Audrey Hepburn again by wearing the Audrey coat paired back to the go lightly trousers by Nanette Lepore and a high society ruffled blouse. If was everybody getting the references, definitely an Audrey inspired outfit. She's ready for, are you ready? Breakfast at Tiffany's and definitely a Moon River stroll. one more time wearing this tray elegant dress by Ellie Tahari. Look at the silk cuffs hem and beautiful embellishment just under the bust. It is a wonderful look. I keep on saying the word wonderful, but how could any fashion that you've seen tonight be anything less than wonderful? They all have been so beautiful. This enhances a woman's body that wants to play up the top and not the bottom. Very pretty, keeping the eye focused up with a beautiful V-neck and giving you opportunity for some fabulous earrings. <laughs> Pat Solner is back for her last outfit. This evening, Pat greets us in style. She greets us in the perception style. Definitely wearable art, definitely packable, and very easy. The most sophisticated women know that if you wear something that conjures up images of art, you're right in any setting. They may be dressy, they may be casual, but if you're wearing wearable art, you're always in fashion. Sandra begins and ends her evening with us in her final outfit, again from Perceptions. Here, long silk, silk satin bias cut dress is topped with this magnificent satin tie front jacket. Sandra's wearing it loosely this evening to enhance her figure and show off the beautiful dress underneath. This dress, again ladies, if you need the basic black dress, there it is. Julie is wearing, again, a name I can't even come close to pronouncing, but I'll give it a shot. Christensen Dunord silver skirt with a knit trim. 
The manufacturer is from Italy and definitely unique and wonderful. The fact that it comes from Melon is really fun because they have a collection of dresses, skirts, separates, pieces that you can put together in any way. A young, fun store and welcome on Main Street. Up above, don't miss them. They're up the stairs on Main Street and they're well worth the hike up the stairs. Here's Gabby. Gabby is wearing a pencil lace skirt by the painter-inspired collection, Wyatt. The designer was so inspired by paintings of Andrew Wyatt that he created this line and then named it Wyatt. So tonight, Gabby is wearing a pencil lace skirt by Wyatt paired back to a black tunic length draped front jersey top. Here comes Joy. Joy's out for the evening looking spectacular in Nicole Miller's Lorex Thread Crinkle Dress. She's left Maggie Taylor on her way for a party and parts unknown. I don't know if we'll ever get her back because this girl's a running and she's looking good. Comfort, style, and glitter crinkle. Just right. We've got the cutest little package coming. Doesn't she look like the most wonderful gift all tied up with a bow? This is Lucy Boynton again. If you ask the question, what do you get when you wear when you cross? Adam and Eve. This is Adam plus Eve, gold evening dress. Get it? Adam and Eve. Adam plus Eve, gold evening dress. Okay. It's a beauty, and she looks absolutely adorable. It is trimmed in black velvet. For the last time this evening, I'd like to present Beth Holmes. Beth is wearing Tadashi. It's an overlay organza black dress. It over, is an overlay over gray, so it gives an iridescence and a shimmer that you can't possibly figure out what's going on with the material. It is because it has a different color underneath. The strapless gown just fits her beautifully and gives an opportunity for any of the jewels that you may have seen tonight. We've paired it back to a black pearl, but I guess there are probably a few jewelry stores in here that might provide a little something extra special to put with this dress for an extra special night out and a great lady. Thank you very much, Beth. And for the final dress this evening, I'd like to present Tara Cousins. Tara is a vision in blue, navy blue silk. It's a duck, it's a day more one shoulder dress enhanced by a brooch, a brooch and a fishtail center side pleat or ruffle. The, the shawl has a tack so that when you wear it, you don't lose it. It is tacked like a jacket. It's absolutely wonderful. And Tara wears it so beautifully because she has the most wonderful color skin so that when you wear a little something naked like that, you really can see the beauty. She's also wearing a, or carrying a blue beaded jack bag from Carlo Falci. I'd like you all to thank Tara for this evening, and I'd like to thank Tara also. And I'd like to thank all of you for being an incredibly patient audience and listening to my jabbering all evening long. And I hope that you've enjoyed the show and that you will visit all of the stores that you've seen this evening. Please welcome them one more time with a round of applause. Thank you.